Asperger's in Society is a Manchester-based documentary about the relationship between autism and mental health. Over the course of the filming process, I was introduced to a number of interesting autistic individuals, and struck by the quality of these experiences and opinions, I decided to create a behind-the-scenes video series to showcase these marvellous people. This is one of them. Yep. Okay. So question one. Can you tell us a little bit about your role at the club and some of the important stuff you've done? So I'm the lead coach here at Horizon Tech Wonder, so um, I guess being older and more experienced, my role here is to lead the other coaches to make sure that they are complying with our ethos and all the various regulations that we need to do as a club. I also teach classes as well, so I coach on a class level and an individual level within the organisation. Uh, I teach the beginners, I teach the intermediates, and I also teach the elite team as well. Um, again, which you developed from the intermediate team through to the elite team. Cool. Um, do you think being in a sport or martial arts environment could improve aspects of social and mental well-being in autistics? Um, I definitely think it does actually because it, it, it brings, I guess, more of, a, more of an environment of normality to people with sort of disabilities and learning difficulties because normally they would be within, I guess, social care groups where it's disability only or learning difficulties only, whereas it, it's more of an environment that's inclusive so everyone's there, so everyone learns from each other. So people like myself would learn what people with learning difficulties are, are all about and, and not sort of um, stigmatise those people and you know, put them into one box. And then I guess the people with learning difficulties, uh, challenging behaviour and various disabilities, they'd be around people like myself and sort to learn uh, at a different rate, I guess, um, because you're around people that are different to what you'd normally be um, put in. I guess through the various education routes and work routes and social groups. I think that it helps improve confidence and helps teach a lot of social skills as well. Okay. Okay. Question three. Have you encountered any difficulties teaching or coaching or autistics? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, and that's through a lack of understanding from myself and it only became a problem because of my lack of awareness and I think that's due to lack of experience so through time you learn what people need so for example some of the learning difficulties joins our club you know the, the immediate assumption may be they're all the same you know, um, all people with autism for example are the same well actually not, everyone's in is an individual regardless of whether they have learning difficulties or not and everyone with learning difficulties is different so those are the types of um, issues to start with by just assuming to, oh I'll tell you what I've had some learning difficulties before this is what I did therefore this one size fits all but well, it doesn't everyone's very very different um, I think that because of the lack of understanding from a coaching perspective that then feeds down to the people in the class to, because there's a less awareness of of what's going on. Various things that sort of cause conflict within the club is lack of awareness of the actual disability from the rest of the participants. So if they're not aware that that person has learning difficulties, they may just think that that person's causing problems, they're here to cause trouble, that why isn't that person picking it up, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I don't think it's, it's more of a um, lack of tolerance, because I think people in, this, in the UK especially are very tolerant and adaptive. I think it's just lack of awareness because it isn't that, you know, someone with learning difficulties walks in and, you know, they always, you know, put a special bib on them to wear so everyone's aware. It's not like that. That's not how we want to run. We want everyone to be treated the same. But then again, if people aren't aware that that person's got learning difficulties, then they can't understand and therefore have more tolerance and understanding around what's going on. Two more questions. Do you think someone having autism could benefit the many way of sport? Um, I think so, yeah, because normally um, people go through an education system which is a one size fits all, whereas sports such as taekwondo and, and 
or there's every sports individual and different. But it, it's just a different type of learning. So in, in the Tip Wonder Club that we have, obviously there's, there's the physical aspects, which you won't get in any other sport, you won't get it through the standard education system. There's also the coordination skills that we teach through all the techniques and everything. And again, you're not going to get that anywhere else. And there's also the, um, the sort of self-independent side. So um, in the Taekwondo sport, you've got, you've got to be independent. You've got to learn for yourself. You've got, you've got to act more mature. You've, you've got to be a self-starter. And I think that there's all those things that, that people have to learn as they're going through the system. And there's also the social side as well, so yeah, while you might be fighting in the ring on your own, you know, you're on your own, but you're supported by a coach and you're sort of supported by a big partisan uh, atmosphere of a crowd. Uh, and when you're training, you've got a team of people around you, so it does teach social skills as well. And then people with learning difficulties who come into the club and not have well-versed, well-exercised, well-seasoned social skills, but being in, in the team environment, They've got no choice but to adapt, and I think that really helps as well. And then the benefits from that includes things like um, much improved self-esteem, self-confidence, better social skills, and people go from being reactive in social situations to being more proactive and starting the conversations themselves and deliberately doing something that they know will spark the conversation and have something for people to talk about. That's brilliant. Um... So it's a little bit different. The answer is a little bit different to the question, but that was good, and I might just like add that in as another one. So that's yeah. okay. Um, but like, do you think someone having autism can benefit them in the sport? So like, any any benefits that autism can give them that would help them in the sport? So having autism, yeah. So autism being a benefit to people. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I can answer that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine, yeah. So, um, having autism, I don't think, is a disability in, in, in life in general. I think everyone is born and you have what you have, whether you have autism, whether you have learning difficulties, whether you are super intelligent or not, it doesn't really matter to me. I find that people with, with autism are very, very um, driven. I think that they provided we can get the right environment around people, you can get the best out of people, and I find people with autism do try much, much harder, and more focused, and they stick to schedules much better. So if we have a schedule, therefore a routine, that these people will do that particular schedule and learn faster and get physically better, physically stronger, and mentally stronger because of the schedule and their adherence to that schedule. Um, I don't think learning difficulties particularly for Taekwondo, holds people back. I think, I think that it is a benefit as part of them. It gives them incredible focus, concentration and strength, and determination to do well for themselves. Uh, so last question. Has teaching autistic individuals enlightened you to any perspectives in life that you otherwise wouldn't have had? So, when I was growing up, I was, I was brought up around people with learning difficulties and various disabilities. Um, when I came into teaching Taekwondo, I had that life experience, uh, but at the time I felt, yeah, I know everything, I know everything about people with learning difficulties and, and disabilities because I've been brought up around it, but no, there's a lot more to it. Everyone is different. So something particular for me that I, that I learnt was that everyone is different and while I might have made reasonable adjustments for one person joining our club, that's, you need something different for someone else that may join who has learning difficulties because not everyone's the same. Um, I feel a lot of um, enrichment really from teaching people, particularly with disabilities and learning difficulties because of the massive challenge that's ahead. Um, I do feel that people get stigmatised, especially in this country, um, around you're not able to do this, you're not able to do that, you're not able to fit into the education system, you have to go to a special school, you have to have care workers and things, but actually, bring them to our Taekwondo Club, which is an inclusive club, we'll put some adjustments in place, we'll do what we can to support people, spend maybe a little bit more time with various people and then lead them to it and maybe spend less time with them, depending on what's best for them. But actually, I get a lot of self, um, self-pride really in, in developing people and enabling them to get to their best. 
and everyone's best is different you know for some people their best might be just passing more grading and and that's it or doing a kick really well for other people it might be going through all the ranks doing all the kicks doing all the competitions and you know competing for the, the national team like you did um, it's um, it, it, it's definitely um, something that makes me proud is not just the actual outcomes of the teaching but being able to say I welcome anyone into my club we will teach anyone we'll do our, our best even if we fail we're still going to try we're going to do our best to help people get the best that they can out of this sport um, me personally um, I've had objectives for, for every person that walks through the door into our club. Once I feel that they're committed enough to the sport, I'll spend more time with them. But what does make me proud is people with disabilities we've had over the years. We've got them to Black Belt, we've got them to Black Belt Second Dan, we've got them to international competing level, you know, we've got them to do local competitions if it's that's their level. And it makes me really proud that we're able to provide that environment for them because it's inclusive. Why why should it be that you know this person walks through the door and they've got everything available to them, but this other person walks through the door and yeah, they've got a disability of some sort or learning difficulties. No, they start closing the doors, so that just doesn't seem right to me. I think everyone should have the same access to everything based on you know what their availability is and what their level is.